our Kids Count's biggest annual fundraiser is officially underway at Marina Park. The 2024 Rib Fest Ribbers were slinging up saucy dishes for takeout yesterday, but today marked the official start where residents can go down and enjoy everything the festival has to offer. Justin Hardy joins us live from the waterfront. Justin, what can people expect this year? Well, Ryan, there's plenty for the whole family to enjoy, from fun and games in the kids section to the many food vendors offering all kinds of tasty treats. But of course, the stars of the show are those mouth-watering ribs. Organizers were a little worried about rain with the cloud coverage all day, but luckily for rib enjoyers, the rain so far is managing to hold off. Lines were already beginning to form at the event's main rivers, Rib Royale and Dinosaur Smokehouse, and the other local food vendors are also getting some love. This year's Rib Fest was moved to the waterfront after being held in a few other locations over the years. Event co-chair Daniel Trevisanudo says the new location has been working out great so far and really highlights what a family-friendly event Rib Fest is. Uh, right now we're pretty excited about the new location. It's it's beautiful. Um, it's been very, uh, the city's been great to work with to come and down get here. So I can't, you know, uh, it's been wonderful on that end of it. And it's just really adds to the whole picnic in the park feel that we want to go for. It's nice, it's green, there's the water, there's walking paths. So you can come here, you can enjoy some of the games we have, you can explore Marina Park. It it's really becomes a whole event when you come down here this way. Rib Fest has been held in Thunder Bay for over a decade now and has become the largest annual fundraiser for local charity, Our Kids Count. Executive Director Jackie Knuff says the support received through the annual fundraiser shows just how much the community can help those in need. Our Kids Count, I mean, we're a grassroots charity organization and we really rely on events such as Rib Fest so that we can raise the funds that we need to be able to provide free programs to families in the community and so if you are coming to Rib Fest you know stop by get your 50-50 ticket uh, the pot right now is just over uh, $8,000 last year we gave away 20,000 so we're hoping to uh, you know get to that amount or even more um, if you can't come down to Rib Fest you can get your tickets online at ourkidscount.ca Rib Fest continues tonight until 8 o'clock and tomorrow and Sunday from 11 in the morning until 8 each night. And the weather is expected to continue to hold out all weekend. I'm Justin Hardy reporting live from Rib Fest. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thanks a lot, Justin. And